Hi, I'm Jax, and welcome to my first YouTube video. Well, I wanted to go over something kind of special since it is my first YouTube and do something that a lot of people love to see and love, you know, on celebrities and everything, but not a lot of people actually know how to do it, and that is the smoky eye. So I'm going to go over my own techniques for that and show you on myself a finished product. And we'll go from start to finish. We'll do a whole makeup makeover. So we're going to start, and as you can see, is I have no makeup on right So we're going to remedy that, and we'll start out doing makeup. So welcome to my show. So I wanted to tell you what I use for my foundation, and that is Bare Minerals. So we're going to put that on. And they use a couple different brushes in the infomercials. I find the best one for me is actually the Kabuki brush, which is this thing right here. So what you want to do is put a little on your brush, tap off that excess, and then you're going to put it here in the lid, swirl, tap, so that's all you have to do. I don't know about you, but I know I can definitely not walk out of the house without a little bit of blush. So, what I use is another Bare Minerals product, and this is the Bare Minerals blush called Beauty. According to Kevin O'Quan, the basis for any kind of smoky eye would be a nice, neutral undertone. So what I'm using is a product by Urban Decay. It's in a shadow. It's called Blunt. And it's this nice kind of beigey shimmer. Okay, so we've got our base down. Now what I want to do is pick a color for my contour or my shadow. And that's what's going to go right up here in the crease of your eye. So I use a nice kind of aubergine eggplant color. And this color is by MAC. Can't really see their logo on there, but it is. And it's called Nocturnelle. Anyway, so I take a little bit of that on just another shadow brush. And... Blending is just like the epitome of rules in makeup. You Next, since I'm doing a traditional smoky eye, I'm going to go ahead and use a nice black eyeshadow. It's called Oil Slick. So the next very important step is not to forget your eyeliner because there's not a smoky eye without eyeliner. This is by NYC and it's an eyeliner. It's actually a duo but this end never works so it's just a regular black pencil. Ready? This part is only for the brave. Lining the under part of your eyes, which is called coal rimming, is very important to achieve this look. Because, or else you're going to get these white lines right here where your skin is. So, the best way to achieve that is, well, could be a little dangerous. If you're not experienced with this, I might leave this part out. Like I said, blending is key to any kind of good look. So you want to make sure, take your brush back here. You don't want it to be wet because we did lick it a couple of times. 
and just blend this you can always do too much and as you can see I did just mess up just a little bit so what I'm gonna do go back in with my blunt my urban decay blunt put a little on the cleanest finger that I have which is probably the middle one here and we're just going to fill in our mistake sometimes what I like to do to bring a cohesiveness to the look is add a little of that aubergine that we use to fill in our creases here and put a little into the black. So what I like to do now is go ahead and put on my final coat of powder. And that's just so everything is set, stays in place where it is. And I like to do this before I put on my mascara because you don't want you know all that gunk stuck to your mascara. And then also before I put on my lip gloss for the same reason. So what I'm gonna use is Mineral Veil which is a great finish to any kind of bare minerals face. So mineral veil, and I've got the one that's just a little bit tinted. So what I like to use for mascara is Lash Exact, let me put it this way, by CoverGirl. It's a waterproof. I don't feel like you have to spend that much for mascara because it pretty much does the same thing. Never neglect the little baby eyelashes under your eye. We're down to the last thing. It's lip gloss. So what I'm going to use is a lip gloss by Sandra Kashuk. And also, my favorite part is this gloss actually has a brush attached. So just a little bit on your brush. So that's it. Oh, and hair. That's better. If you've enjoyed this and thought it was helpful, hopefully you'll now subscribe to get all the upcoming episodes as soon as they hit the, well, net.